channel6.ca supported by are you looking for a new career that pays well and takes care of you then join us at pit earnings we are driven to excel are you of course with the province releasing its 2015-2016 budget today uh, I can comment that the city is satisfied with the initial results however there are still many unanswered questions We'll be analyzing the budget closer over the next few days to fully understand what impact it has on Red Deer and our upcoming 2016 capital and operating budgets, as well as with respect to our 2017, 2015, or 2025 rather, capital plan. One of the highlights in this budget for our community is, of course, the funding in the provincial budget. Uh, for Red Deer College, uh, meaning that Red Deer College will receive the 20 million towards the Gary W. Harris Center for Health, Wellness and Sport that ensures that we are indeed ready for the 2019 Canada Winter Games. Other positives for the community include additional funding for women's shelters, a post-secondary tuition freeze and the expansion of course of Red Deer Regional Hospital's obstetrics department. The province of Alberta has also indicated it is increasing its capital spending over the next five years. This encompasses building and they made specific reference to building and repairing schools, hospitals and roads. We are hopeful that our community's projects such as the, the South QE2 intersection redesign, the Red Deer Courthouse and commitments regarding local schools are included in future in this funding increase and in the future announcements that they make specific reference to. I'll now touch base with respect to MSI funding. The allocation for 2015-2016 is as projected at 878 million, not including the 8 million injection received in the spring of 2015. I will say, however, that longer term funding is more uncertain as there appear to be some reductions. On a provincial level, the, provi the province has also increased uh, funding for FCSS by overall by 25 million. We know that this directly translates into additional funding for our own local uh, and regional FCSS programs. There will be, however, implications to the city's uh, 2016 and subsequent operating budgets uh, as there is the expected 20% municipal matching, matching portion. The province has also, uh, through this speech, uh, promised additional funding in long-term care. We are hopeful that this includes funding for Piper Creek's uh, build for affordable seniors housing at uh, the Red Deer nursing home site so that we can realize our long-term advocacy in terms of the repurposing of this site. There are, however, several items that uh, we do not have uh, specific details on today. Uh, and so I will highlight some of those. Some of those further details uh, that we will be looking to, uh, into further in the coming week include the provincial courthouse funding and decision regarding uh, our own municipal land holding that we have been holding in abeyance for the Red Deer Courthouse, funding for the North Highway Connector, green trip allocations, the QE2 intersection south access, provision for general shelter space. So I mentioned, of course, that women's shelter space is in there, but provision for general shelter space, as well as the uh, long-term questions around MSI capital and, and stability around that, and specifically with respect to MSI operating. We expect to have a full analysis and additional information in about a week's time, at which time uh, we will provide an additional release with those specifics. The city continues uh, to build our local plans based on the reality that community building is province building. We hope that the province's plans reflect this thinking as well uh, and that the provincial government continues to recognize uh, that Red Deer is Alberta's third largest city. Thank you and I'm now available for questions and, and our city manager is as well.